Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Spud's potato chips. This is the Kentucky barbecue. And then I have the Irish pub style, and this one is the sweet chili tie. These were sent just from William in Tennessee. Thank you so much to William. These are actually made in Louisville, Kentucky, but William found them in uh, Tennessee. We don't, we haven't seen them here, so go figure. William paid $1.99 a bag for these. And we're gonna be trying the Kentucky barbecue flavored first. It's 2.75 ounces. Right? Yes. It says a tangier than the infield on Derby Day. Uh, let's see, uh, three servings in the container, one ounce, 28 grams is 150 calories, or the entire container is 400, uh, 400 calories. Okay. Mm, okay. They look like just barbecue chips. chips. Yeah. Look at that one. Barbecue chips. I think I may have found a fold over. I did. Oh. It's so soft. Yeah, it's a really soft crunch. It's not a hard chip at all. Um, the only bad thing is there's not a lot of flavor there. I love the texture. Oh, the texture's wonderful. And for a chip, it's a good potato chip. Mm -hmm. But it's not nothing barbecue about it, though. The, mm. the texture is a five out of five. Yeah. I mean, it is a terrific texture. It just, um, you can tell it's not a regular potato chip because there is some flavor there. Or something there. But it does not come across as barbecue at all because mm -hmm. it's so very, very light. Very, very light. I mean, they really, really, really need to up the seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, but those are some. Terrific potato chips. Terrific texture. I would eat them as regular, like regular potato mm -hmm. chips, but I wouldn't yeah. eat them for barbecue potato chips. No, if you want barbecue, this isn't where you want to go because you can hardly taste it mm. at all. I mean, it's almost non-existent. All right, let's try the Irish pub style. May your troubles be less and your blessings be more. Touch my chips, nonetheless, it will be all out war. <laughs> um, uh, 150 for one ounce or a 450 for the whole container and I was like well, what makes these Irish so I, I looked um, and they have cheese powder um, it would be cheese and onion mm -hmm. they have paprika uh, let's see turmeric extras of turmeric I think for the color but uh, garlic powder onion you know so, what these had Sage and paprika and stuff in them too. You can I taste didn't get it. Any so. of that. No, none of that. So these Hopefully are lighter. More flavor. Yeah, these are lighter. Okay. I like to get the biggest chip and challenge myself if I can shove the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> oh, those are awesome. Yeah. The challenge is to fit that whole chip in your mouth. Okay, do it. I don't know if I can do that one. That pretty big. Nope. It was too, oh, it was too big. Um, it was too wide. That flavor is awesome. I love that. That one's good. This tastes it's like, more onion, though. it's spring onion. That's what it is. Yeah. It, it's spring onion. And, and a lot of the Irish chips do have an oniony kind of flavor. That is terrific. Yeah, I would really buy nice. those all the time. Those win for, for texture, flavor, they brought the salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are really good. Mm -hmm. I wish these had as much flavor as those. They, they would have been probably really, really good. But. I do too. I would eat the whole bag. I mean, oh, yeah. there's not that many in there. I know I poured some out, but there's not that many in there. 450 calories, you're, you're gonna eat the whole bag mm -hmm. because it's so good. You're not gonna be able to stop. They almost taste like, they're really more green onion than anything, but they almost taste like those onion, the fried onions. Oh yeah. They kind of have that fried kind mm -hmm. of flavor. I don't like those. There, there it's go. delicious. And this is the sweet chili Thai. We take the best red chili peppers, garlic, and ginger root and make them play real nice together. Uh, 150 for one ounce or 450 for the bag. So ginger. Okay. I'm gonna eat one just in case they're hot. <laughs> mm. 
I don't get any heat. Here's your photo. Ah, thank you. This is one. Those again, not a lot of flavor. They taste different than the first one, mm -hmm. but they're just not very flavorful. I do think you get, um, they said ginger root. I taste something different from all the other ones, so I'm guessing that must be it. It's not necessarily that I taste ginger, but there is something there. It's just not enough of it. It is almost non-existent like the first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went, I took another bite of the first one. Mm -hmm. There's a very, very teeny tiny slight smoke flavor, mm -hmm. but that's it. But the Irish ones are the winners. Yes. Because they are pure, like strong oniony flavor. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I would. It makes you wonder why they didn't get the flavor on the other two. I don't know. I don't know. It's like who was testing those? Was yeah. some was somebody taste testing those that cannot handle spice <laughs> at all? <laughs> they had a cold that week. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, oh, that's too much barbecue, or or that person. People can't handle barbecue, so we're not gonna, we're not going to uh, make them strong. I mean, they have a standard. They're supposed to make. You know, a well, recipe, I'm they, telling you, they, they don't they don't have any blood. Not at all. Uh, those Irish, though, if they made those in a big bag, I would buy those all the time. They probably do. They're excellent. Yeah, they're they, excellent. They probably do make them in a big bag. Uh, definitely worth a dollar ninety nine. So, William, thank you so mm -hmm. very much for sending them to us. I love them. I, I just now we'll have to be on the lookout here to see if we ever spot them in one of our stores. Because I can tell you right now, we, we have not no, seen them. No. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.